So just overall thoughts on the game. Well, it's good to have a win. Um, when, when you've struggled like we have this year, um, we'll take a win any way we can get it. Um, it certainly wasn't pretty, um, but I thought there were some things that we did well. Uh, obviously, you know, we are in a, uh, a little bit of a shooting slump, and um, to get a win and shoot as poorly as we did is, is I guess, a positive. Um, is this the type of matchup that you want before heading on the road this weekend in the means of a D3 team is usually going to play a D2 team pretty hard? Yeah, it's, it's a good matchup. You know, it's, it's something that we've tried to tie in with the education day and, and working it over the break. Uh, I think it's had some positive things to it. Um, Superior, um, they're, they're going to give you a competitive game. Uh, they're young like we are, so you know, both of us are trying to learn to play through mistakes. But, uh, you know, for us, hopefully it's going to build some confidence and just, uh, you know, we won two out of our last three games, and we, we haven't been able to see that, say that all year thus far. So. Um, maybe it'll help us build some confidence and, and continue to get things going in the right direction. Uh, a nice wire-to-wire -wire victory today. Um, how were you guys able to ensure that you came out, showed up, and there wasn't an ugly upset today? Um, our, our first group did well. Our first group built, built uh, I think they built three 20-plus point leads. Um, unfortunately, our second group didn't really have the success our first group did, um, and that lead kind of dissipated, and then we'd have to put the first group back in and so on. But uh, you know, overall, it was a it was a it was a victory for us, and like I said, we will take a victory any way we can get it at this point. Would you say it's a trade of this team to kind of the offense gets going in one aspect, um, then then the other three point shooting wasn't there today, but you had forty points in the paint. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's something that um, the last three games we have not shot the ball well, with the exception of Jake Wilson had a very good second half against against you, Mary. Um, the looks are there. We're, we're getting good looks. We're executing quite well on offense. We're getting to the line. Uh, we're not turning the ball over. There are a lot of good things we're doing, but at the end of the day, they keep score by the ball going through the net, and we're just not finishing the plays as well as we need to. Now, you know, the, I think if we can shoot a little bit better from three, it's even going to open up the paint a lot more. Um, but but getting the ball into the paint and, and certainly playing through Trenton and Sean and Chuck and and Rob is, is certainly going to help us and, and get us the opportunities to hopefully make some shots on the perimeter. As you've mentioned, the shooting hasn't been there. So outside of shooting, any part of the game that you would like to see cleaned up for the weekend? Yeah, we can always get better in defense. We didn't rebound as well today. Um, you know, there are, there are a lot of little things that we can do. But, um, you know, right now the most glaring thing is, is we just have to become a little bit better consistent shooters. We've, we've struggled from three. and. Uh, you know, that's kind of an ebb and flow of the season. It will come. Um, we're getting the thing that I like is we're getting good looks. We're getting good looks through our offense and through the actions that we want to do. Uh, we're just not knocking them down right now, and that, that'll come up with time. Just over half the points came off the bench today. How was it tonight? How, what, how nice was it to get everyone involved? Well, we, we were able to get most of the team involved. Um, you know, I wish we would have been able to build up a little bit more cushion to get some guys some extra minutes, but that's just, it just didn't, it just didn't work out. Um, but it is good to see some guys uh, do some things and, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a young team. So get some guys, some different looks is certainly good. Um, you get the rematch against Bemidji State this weekend. What are you guys anticipating out of that matchup? Uh, we, we, we got to take care of Crookston first. We're going to play Crookston on Friday first. And, uh, you know, that'll be our, that'll be our focal point first and foremost. And, uh, you know, the Bemidji game comes on Saturday. Hope we're coming off of a decent performance on Friday. Um, you know, playing Bemidji, we get to play in the Sanford Center again, which is a fun venue. Um, you know, we, we were able to beat Crooks in the first time around, just looking ahead at the weekend um, in, a, in a relatively close game. And then, you know, Bemidji game, we dug ourselves a hole and came back in a flurry and, uh, and then kind of gave it away in overtime. So it'll be two, two highly contested games. You know, there are two Northern Division battles that'll mean a lot in the conference standings.